I find it really funny to uh, to see what 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 some um, conservatives like get really offended by, because it's like we almost don't live in reality anymore. And I'm going to explain to you why I come to that perspective. Um, but this is Candace Owens, um, and I'm going to probably burp in a moment, so I'm very sorry. I had a hot dog from Costco today. And it reads, I can't believe I'm tweeting this. I can't either, Candace. Can the can this nuts get it? Okay. But they are pushing the trans agenda on children via Muppet babies. This uh, This is sick and perverted. Everyone should be disturbed by predatory cartoons meant to usher children into gender dysphoria. Bring back manly Muppets, anyone? You're right. You got it. Uh, um, so, yeah, let's watch this. Uh, let's watch these non manly Muppets. I'm just going to zoom in and get a little bit better than, uh, you know, maximizing it, in my opinion. Let's watch what uh, this. So we just have to make keep in mind that this was uh, said to be sick and perverted, and pushing a trans agenda. And now let's watch. The royal ball. We met the most amazing princess, but they ran away, and all they left behind was this. Everyone, there's something I need to tell you. The princess who came to your ball tonight was me. I'm Gonzarella. But Gonzo, why didn't Vu tell us? Because you all expected me to look a certain way. I don't want you to be upset with me, but I'm the royal ball. All right, at the end there, it's <laughs> say something about follow. Oh, this is from Josh uh, Fogler. Hold on a second. I actually know that TikToker. I've seen him post some like absolutely ridiculous shit on TikTok before. Let me go see if I could uh if we could if we can drum up the old uh, drum. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. I found him. Um. So this is actually a whole. Okay, there's a lot of gay news, guys. There's a lot of gay news from uh, this gay guy. So let's just get the uh, the water from the source, am I right? Maybe there's some more context that we can look into. As Candace Owens has a meltdown about uh, gay Gonzos or whatever. The first thing I will say, though, is that like Gonzo wearing a dress isn't really about him being trans. It, to me, it's more just about gay dudes. Gay news. News. All right, chill out, dude. We're not ready for gay news yet. To me, it, it it's more heavily just talks about like the acceptance of like feminine men, and I find it interesting, right? Because like one of the things here, as a, a, you know, I've seen a conservative talking point being like, "Hey, listen, why do you have to be a, a trans woman? Why can't you just be a, 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 a what is it, a feminine man?" And this is Gonzo. From what I'm seeing, is he's just being a feminine man, wearing a dress. You know, you do you, brother. Um. But all, Candace's arguments like that that must be a woman. It's like, well, maybe it's just a guy that likes dresses, Candace, you silly goose. Anyway, let's get this fucking gay news. The Muppets just did something so big it will make you cry. There's I doubt it though. You are? You missed our royal ball. We met the most amazing princess. But they ran away, and all they left behind was this. Everyone, there's something I need to tell you. The princess who came to your ball tonight was me. I'm crying. I'm Gonzarella. But Gonzo, why didn't Vu tell us? Who? Because you all expected me to look a certain way. Okay. I don't want you to be upset with me, but I want to be me. All right, you, whatever. Uh, okay, let's watch part two. Gay news, this is what the Muppets did to Gonzo before they came out. We had a load of that dress. I'd love to wear a dress like that to your royal ball. But Gonzo... Piggy and I are the princesses. True. We wear the dresses. That's right. The girls come as princesses and the boys come as knights. I'm just going to be honest with you. Those night outfits are kind of gay anyway. So, you know, you should be comfortable with the night outfits there, uh, Gonzo, Gonzarella. You all look a little gay. So, and it's fine. Uh, right. What? I mean, but tights? Really? You know what I'm saying? To pick out our dresses. <laughs> Fellow knights. Huzzah! 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 Gay news. 
All right, I'm really inspired. All right, so Gonzo's gay or something. Maybe he's not even gay. Maybe he just wants to wear a dress. Listen, here's the thing. All right, back to Candace Owens, uh, who took his video. And uh, is that that is his video, right? Gay news. This is this is. Yeah, it is. Look, it's the picture too. Oh, I'm so smart. To Candace Owens, here's where I've or any of you guys listen. This isn't perverted at all. It's a fucking dude in a dress. It's weird. That's my perspective. It's a little weird, but I don't care. You know, like who cares? You listen. You want you if you don't want your kid to watch the Muppets, just turn off the fucking TV. Don't want. Don't let your kid watch the Muppets. I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like we've, it feels like you're acting as if this is forced into my fucking skull. Turn the turn it off. You know. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna let my probably not gonna let my my son wear a dress. I'm just going to be honest with you, right? Now, if my son, like, really want, Like, for the most... Most... For the most part, people... Kids that want to wear something, they're easy to talk out of it. If, let's say my son's like, I want to wear this dress. And I'm like, no, nah, you're not wearing a dress. That's for girls. Most of the time, that's all it takes. Now, if my kid is, like, insistent upon wearing a dress, then we could explore that as an option. But for the most part, you know, most kids don't have that, like, desperate desire to wear dresses. Most times, kids are just fucking kids, and they just want, like, oh, can I wear a dress? Can I smear peanut butter on my face? It's like, no, just chill the fuck out, okay? So take a shower. It's hard enough to get your kid to go into the fucking shower, let alone, you know, you know what I'm saying? But just turn it off. It's not predatory. I find that, like, offensive almost. Oh, it's predatory. It's not. I talk a lot about predatory interactions on my YouTube channel, um, and, like, this is not predatory, Okay. This is uh, this is not predatory, and I think it's really diminishing to people who've truly like experienced like a predatory nature, whether through sexual assault or being groomed, et cetera, et cetera. I think that this is this this language like truly diminishes it, and I find I have found a I see a very common mentality from mostly young conservative people, okay, and it's that when you don't understand something, you decide that it's rape. Um, and I find it weird because this is effectively saying that this is like predatory, like you're raping your children's minds. I'm sorry for using that word so harsh, but like we talked about, uh, trans people having to like say that they're trans. And I think that they should before they interact with somebody sexually, but they're like, yeah, if you don't, then you, then that's basically sexual assault. It's like, chill the fuck out. No, it's not. Okay. I want you to understand something. Okay. Withholding information is wrong. I would say it's a violation. You know, I doubt any of you would be like, oh, if I um, if I uh, sleep with a woman and she doesn't know I'm married, is that sexual assault? No, it's not. Withholding information, it's wrong. It's a bad thing. But you guys like to go to, like, the extreme. It's predatory. It's sexual assault. You got to relax. You got to use the correct words for things or else you're not going to communicate yourself correctly. All right. So, yeah, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it easy. Take a chill pill, Phil. My mother used to say that a lot. Sit the woe.